Yo guys, it's JJ here and today I'm be walking you through a Southside tutorial, especially on how to make his dope dark ethnic beats. But before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, we have just passed 1.7k subs on the road to 2k. Support's been going crazy and I really do appreciate it, so let's just get it. And just to show some love back, I've got a bunch of free drum kits in the description just for you. And you can get the latest one on my Instagram, which you can find in the description as well. So, with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. First thing I want to note is we're doing this in F minor at 145 BPM. However, I do find with these ethnic Southside beats, I really like working in that D sharp up, I'd say to the highest, like an F sharp minor. I like to work in that range. I think it's really dope. But the first VST we have got opened is an instance of Contact 7. Where's that bank known as the Strings of Winter with a preset called a Call Legno Violins. It's a nice kind of like spiccato plucky plugin, but again, if you don't have this, you can use Expand 2, Omnisphere, and other kind of sounds. Looking at the pattern, it is very simple and straightforward. We're just taking with the root note as F as you can see here every half beat but at the top instead of having that C just repeat it the whole way through around here we introduce that C sharp and go back into that C and then all I do is rinse and repeat this again every single two bar to make it an eight then I clicked alt R to pull up the randomizer and all I do is play with this little velocity knob to make it sound a bit more human and without further ado this is what the first sound sounds like For the effects, I kept it very basic. Just got an EQ to cut off all my lows. And Soothe 2 to duck some harsh frequencies. And then to Valhalla Vintage Verb, just to add a bit of ambience to the sound. And then I stair separated this around 70% because when I add the other elements in for the sample, we'll hear how this kind of adds like a very nice background, but also impactful part of the whole sample. Then I got myself into the Contact 7 again, using a different band called Acquire Essentials and it's the Woman Performance preset. But if you ain't got this, again, you've got Purity, Omnisphere, Expand 2, you've got Nexus, you've got loads of plugins, even go on Reddit for some one shots so vocals you should have them unlocked and looking at the pattern is very simple i'm essentially following the same kind of pattern as you can see getting that f note playing over and over got that c c sharp c again but then for some variation i go from a c sharp into that f and then i just repeat this two bar over and over and over and it's very simple make use of those nice repetitive notes especially the ones a semitone apart giving that dark vibe and then again clicking alt r and playing with this velocity knob i randomize the velocity to make it sound more human and this is what the choir sounds like And there we have it. This adds like a nice little grand element to the whole ethnic sound and I really mess with it. As for the effects, these ones were actually very simple. EQ, ducking some highs, cutting off all my lows. And then to the Hall of Vintage Verb, but a heavy amount of reverb as you can see. I really want to drown this sound, make it ambient and dark. And to add to it a bit more, I stair separated this around 30% just to widen it within the headphones again. And next up guys, we got ourselves an instance of the Prince VST with the preset called Cold Stroll, which is from the Plugs Bank. A nice little bell kind of sound. And as you can see, the pattern is actually pretty straightforward. It's just this nice little one bar repeat. Repeated. And if we look over at the one bar, I start with the F, go into that C, then F again. So playing with the inverted notes and back into an F again. But then taking it into that C sharp again, making use of these notes that are semitone apart, and back into my F, and back into these C's. Then all I do is repeat it four more times, and then again another four, but an upper octave. And then I clicked Alt R, randomizing my velocities yet again. And now this is what actually the main melody for the whole sample sounds like. And there we have it. As you can hear, it plays a nice impactful role to the whole sound. For the effects, got an EQ, cutting some loads and some highs, and some Soothe 2 to duck some harsh frequencies, and then some Valhalla Vintage Verb just to make the sound a bit more ambient. And as you can see, all I did was stereo separators around 23%. And next up, I got myself an instance of Piano V3, using a preset called the American Home Clean, which is just the initial preset that loads up with this VST. And for the pattern, I kept it very simple. All I did was play this F note at two different octaves, every two bar, giving like a nice little piano stab. And then for the second half, I introduced those two Fs again, but at the upper octave. Because you know with the previous melody, how it went from one octave to another. I wanted to complement that with the piano, so that's why I did that. And without further ado, this is what the piano sounds like.
As for the effects, first thing I did, got an EQ, stuck in all my lows, then put in some highs and lows off as you can see over here, and then a tiny bit of a hollow vintage rib, just to add some ambience. And now for the next sound, I got myself an instance of the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra Bank with a preset called the Gypsy Violin coming from Contact 7. And again, if you ain't got this VST, Bantu is very good for violins. You also got like the orchestra kind of VST, so those are really dope. And as you can see, pattern's very simple. Start for the F note, up into a C, F, C, then for variation in the second half of the 8 bar, introduce that C sharp, but then go back into a C again because it gives it a bit of variation, sounds dark at the same time, and then all I did was click Alt R again to randomize the velocities, giving it that human touch. And now, this is what the strings sound like. For the preset, I got myself an EQ coming off all my lows and some highs. And the instance of Soothe 2 was used to act as a compressor. And of course, some RC20 with that Vinyl 2 preset, but I removed the noise. And I just really like that kind of like wobbly sound it provides to the violin. And then last but not least, some Vahala Vintage Verb, just to add a bit more amb And time for the final part of the sample, which is of course the bass. Can't forget about that low end. And I got myself an instance of Analog Lab 5 using a preset called the Space Invaders V2. As you can see, very nice pattern, very straightforward. Just forming that root note, curling it off, and then how I just kind of like stuttering a effect going on over here just to add a bit of tension to it and then i repeat it again every single tuba and now ladies and gentlemen this is what a dark ethnic sample from Southside sounds like And there we have it. But before we move on to the drums, just know that all of these sounds are from my essential kit. Again, in the description, found on my Instagram. And now let's just move into it. First thing to note is the snare pattern. It's a very simple and straightforward pattern using that Lex Luger snare that we all love. And now that's all there is to be said. <laughs> moving on to the hi-hat, I'm using the super dope hi-hat from the kit. And I like this pattern I made, to be honest. It's nothing crazy. It's a very simple one. Sometimes Southside really just strips back all the hi-hats and doesn't go too hard with them. And as you can see, I've got myself a nice little bounce going here. Introduce a nice little step roll then got the same bounce going again but then instead of having this kind of pattern over here all i do if you look at my magnet tool go onto a six beat that is the exact roll i've got over here a nice little six beat roll then i finish off the pattern the exact same way as i did over here and all i did was copy and paste this four bar one more time to make a full eight and now this is what my hi-hats and my snare sound like And now onto the 808. These ones are banging. And as you can see from the pattern, it's a very simple one again. Very nice space style pattern, especially with these kind of nice ethnic beats, leaving room for the artist to do his thing. And all I did was get myself this nice little pattern going here. Rinse repeat it again over here. But these two extra notes come in for a bit of variation. And instead of having this note down here, I took it up an octave for that variation. Then copy and paste the whole pattern and add the super dope roll at the very end. And as for the kick pattern, it's essentially the exact same as the 808 pattern. But all I do is just keep it all on that same note with C. And one thing I'd like to note to you guys before I play the pattern i do this with my 808 and my kick in every video all i do is click ctrl a highlighting all my notes then i grab my mouse hold that scroll wheel down and i push it to the very very top and as you can see it maxes your velocities out and the reason i do this is because it makes your 808 and your kicks punchier it sounds better in the mix and then when artists hear your beat it's more appealing to them because your drums are actually knocking so with all that being said this is what the 808 and the kick sound like And now for the final two patterns. We're breaking down the first one. We got ourselves a dope open hat. Simple, straightforward. Repeat every two bars you can see. One on the initial hit, and then one where the second eight wave would come in usually. Then I copy and paste the whole thing three more times to make an eight bar. And then the final thing I did was get myself a nice little DIY snare from the kit. Go onto my magnet tool, go into quarter steps, and as you can see over here, this one is actually a half step roll. Very simple, straightforward, but fire. And then looking at this one, this is the quarter step roll. It's essentially the same, it's just I added these three notes over here to make the roll a bit more harder. And then all I did was copy and paste it one more time to make it a full eight bar. So without further ado, this is what a dark ethnic beat like Southside sounds like. There we have it guys, but now it's time to walk you through the beat breakdown. I'm breaking down the beat structure 
it's actually not that bad but looking at the intro we got ourselves a nice little eight bar got that main melody playing alongside that nice little plucky violin the bass and then i introduced that vocal halfway through just to build up into the drop and coming into the chorus i got myself two eight bars to make the chorus first eight bar nice main melody with the piano and all these dope drums playing apart from the snares but then for the second half i introduced the vocals just to add a bit more flair and I got the rest of the snares coming in. And now, to break down that verse section, we got three A bars in total. But to look at the first one, got myself that nice little pluck violin coming in, alongside those vocals and that main melody. But for the drums, kept the essential drums in, and I had the snare and the hi-hat come in a bit later for a bit of dramatic effect. And then as you can see, for the main part of the verse, which is the second A bar, I strip away those vocals, I introduced that piano, got that lovely violin coming in, have those plucks playing still, and then I introduced those snare rolls. And now for the final A bar, which is also known as the pre-hook and the pre-chorus, because you want to build a lot of dramatic effect to go back into the chorus again all i do is i strip away all my drums kept that nice little roll for the very end and then i had all of the melody playing together part from the nice little plucks at the top and then i had that piano coming halfway just to add some dramatic effect and all i did was copy and paste my chorus once but actually twice over and i introduced that violin as you can see just to add a bit of variation to the chorus but for the verse i just copy and pasted the same one over and guys there you have it we've made it to the end of the video and now you know how to make some dark ethnic beats just like Southside. So thank you very much for watching. All the support is appreciated. We're almost at 2k subs. And now with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.